Greetings and salutations to all. My name is Invisible here, and uh, in my latest stream, my friend George Atolo Garfascotta brought to my uh, attention a certain um, condition. My friend uh, got bur burned out of uh, video gaming and asked me if, whether or not I uh, get burned out from playing so many video games all the time. In order to uh, answer this question, very simply put, I don't play video games for entertainment or for wasting time. I play video games, I said this before, I play video games in a therapy kind of style. And uh, whether or not I get burned out from video games, why do you think a backlog exists? A backlog exists because one gets sick of playing the same video game and stuff and then changes it to something else. Or rather, sometimes get burned out very much from playing video games to the point where you watch things, read stuff, or just absolutely do nothing at all. So what will happen if I were to stop playing video games? Good question. Answer is... Since I am a person that is suffering from suicidal depression and extreme social anxiety and hypersensitivity for a criticism and and uh, whatnot, um, first and foremost, whenever I play things that I don't record, I feel extreme sense of guilt and unease because I am doing something for myself that I'm not sharing with anyone else, which is wrong. Because not everything should be shared at all. And uh, if I don't play video games, I will start overthinking myself. Why am I not doing this? Um, am I am I uh, undercompensating others? Am I not uh, providing what others are expecting of me? My problem with meeting up with others' expectations is irrational to say the least i always wish to be up to expectations i am sadly in uh, mentally a perfectionist if i can't do something to its perfection i will just uh, drop it it's either i meet uh, the other's expectations or drop it i am a defeatist because if i can't reach my utmost point into something i will not uh, start it at all for me, what uh, matters is the destination, not the journey. Because regardless how hard or effort I invest into the journey, if the destination is not worth my time, then I will not even start it. That's why a lot of uh, projects, stuff, and readings to me were completely pointless upon knowing how they ended. Whenever I see a movie or read a book, I don't go for the start. I go for the summary or how it will end. Because unless it's worth going through to reach the end, I'm not. I'm skipping the journey altogether. I hate taking risks. I hate um, getting good at something that is completely pointless by the end. And uh, if I stopped uh, playing video games, I would realize how much point pointless my life is more easier, easily. And uh, the more I realize how much pointless it has been, I will start comparing my own achievements and my own work with others' works because we live in a society of non-stop comparing and non-stop rivalry and non-stop uh, competition. I would start uh, comparing myself educationally with everyone around me. I will st comparing, start comparing myself with everything that I do. The, the style I play games, the style I do education, the style that I keep up with my even normal chores and uh, routines. I start comparing myself with those who live with their parents and have a job or a career path and those who don't have, which I am one of them. I would start calling myself 
under appreciating ungrateful freeloader dead weight etc i would start hating myself even more that i'm not up to the expectations of my family or our relatives and not doing something that would make me come out in a spotlight even though i hate to be put in a spotlight i know it's contradictory but when you think about it i would like to be as helpful to the others as possible i hate to be to stand is to stay still without doing anything that is productive but at the same time i hate to be extremely over uh, active i know my words are completely contradictive but that's how i am simply put i like to be social but not with everyone i have a very limited um group of uh, true friends that i am extremely loyal to i would give my life for them and uh, i sincerely believe that i'm not doing enough to show them my loyalty and how much i really appreciate them i give non-stop uh, shout outs for my uh, friends in all of my uh, records or streams because i believe this is the least thing i can do for them even though the most I would be able to do for them is literally to donate for them when they do their videos, join their channels, pay Patreon, whatnot. But problem is, I am not financially stable myself. So you think I, uh, if I were financially stable, I would donate for my friends even more? I wouldn't really mind doing, doing so. I value my family and friends above my own life and i value my positions my laptop my stuff my property over my life in my personal eyes as a human being as a person i am completely expendable disposable recyclable but everything else that i have are more valuable for me personally other than being a uh, other than being a thing to be harvested, I am completely worthless. If you wish to think to talk about someone who will praise himself with the self-esteem and whatnot, my self-esteem doesn't exist. Period. From the moment I gained my suicidal depression, for me, self-esteem is not something that I have or I value. What I value, sadly, is what people think of me. That's why I am extremely valuable against uh, towards the criticism and towards comparing. And when someone attacks my what I believe in and attacks what I work on to reach my goals, I take it not as a criticism toward the thing that I do, but a personal criticism which is why i uh, get extremely defensive and often um radical believe it or don't for me i would rather die than lose my gadgets i would rather die than lose my phone my family or friends even um i don't really mind if <laughs> frankly enough if there was a hostage situation where one of my family or friends were in the other side i wouldn't mind giving up my life in exchange for theirs to be saved i wouldn't even wink or um, hesitate to do so to me my own achievements actually don't really exist my uh, victories are not worth anything and uh, Frankly enough, anyone else would be better if they were to get this channel and manage it. As I told you, when I am not distracted enough, the depression inside of me starts speaking and starts highlighting all of my weaknesses, all of my uh, undergivings, and everything that I am not competent enough to be whether it was streaming whether it was uh, socializing whether it was uh, education or anything else for god's sake don't forget at all that i have been recording my works for free completely on adstube uh 
tyrannical dictator of a site that never compensated for me even once throughout 11 years. And it still demands from me to reach its uh, own conditions to start giving me things that it won't mind at all, cutting them from me at any, any time, shape and form. And since my channel is adults only oriented, it's much harder even because the more family friendly channels would get uh, monetized very easily in exchange for extremely getting restricted in what they publish. Um, I am not asking anyone support really. I am not asking you to share. I am not asking you to comment. I am not asking you to donate. I am not asking you to even subscribe. I am putting myself in the judgment of the content that I that I make. Okay. If you don't want to donate, don't donate. I am not even monetized at all. If you don't want to share or uh, like or dislike or whatever, do as you wish. When I watch other people's uh, channels, when I truly like something, I press the like button. When I truly love something, I add it to my secret favorite list. When I see a channel that is worth my time, I subscribe for it. It's the content that speaks, not the content creator that has the right to promote this stuff. If your content is not worth uh, doing, people will not... Uh, interact with you if your content is worth a while people will start themselves asking you to open up your accounts to do it for you and uh, the most i can do in uh, in sense of um, communicating with my own uh, community would be through polls that i make comments in my community tab and um, Gradual sometimes announcements or updates. And throughout the years that I have been working as a content creator, I know for a fact I got shadow banned. The site doesn't care about me, doesn't want me around, and uh, two thirds, if not uh, five, uh, if not four fifths of my subscribers are all either gone or bots. Or maybe just alt accounts. When I pray peace be upon all of my subscribers, the commentators, followers, fans, and the friends, I am literally counting all the people that actually are actively immersed or uh, in active com communication with me in any way, shape, or, shape or form at any time. So, yeah, what happens if I completely stopped gaming? If I stop gaming, my depression will start talking, my self-deprecation, self-destruction will start talking, my uh, critical thinking against myself will start talking, and overall, I will have, uh, let's say, a, a really hard time. I once wanted to ask um, my friends to roast me in a video, to see how much um, mistakes I might uh, end up having in their eyes. How much shortcoming, how, man, how much incompetence I have. You know, like the bigger channels that ask their own fans to roast them to see how funny or uh, bullying they can carry on. How much uh, trolling they can take out, uh, harvest from their own followers. And it turns out that when I tried to roast myself by myself, I ended up harming myself extremely so much. I ended up in a depression episode that lasted one month. Off camera, that this, uh, this uh, happened, this accident. If I couldn't roast myself by myself, to the point where I actually gave myself a a depression episode for one month with an uh, a severe um, social anxiety episode with a panic attack. You think I'll be able to stop all kinds of distractions I require? I don't know. If uh, recording videos is not enough, 
I would just play offline games. You could say, am I really going to spend my entire life just playing video games? Not necessarily. If I can find other distractions such as listening to audiobooks, working on some uh, job or career path, um, perhaps um, reading books, like reading, not only listening to audiobooks, maybe interacting with uh, emails, interacting with Discord notifications, interacting with uh, other stuff that I follow up with, I don't think I'll have a finite number of distractions. I am in a position right now where without distractions, I would just count the days I have Non stop. Once I finish my education at the moment, most likely I'll search for either freelancing job or try to build up my own channel on Rumble. If Rumble doesn't work, I'll go for cake. If the cake does, if let's just get the cheese. Let's just see if my um, career path as a freelance content creator doesn't work and I don't get uh, donations or get paid via ads revenue, then what will I do? I will try my best to get maybe a freelance uh, online job. If that doesn't work, I will just go ahead and ac ac prepare my resume, CV, and check out anyone that would accept something like me for their own uh, employment if if life reaches that point and i end up having to work something traditional that i wouldn't like or enjoy i frankly would rather die than keep on going if what i'm doing has no goal in the end line that's actually worth going for or rather uh, worth working for worth the investment time money energy and life i'd rather not do it and in my current time right now, the thing that is not worth my life, time, investment, or energy is, uh, frankly enough speaking, is living itself. I'm a person that, had you given me a weapon at this very moment, I would finish everything without even hesitating. That's what gaming is for. When someone mentally has nothing at all to lose but everything to win that's just one trigger away of their grasp you will need something that's very strongly um addictive in its nature and seductive in its form to keep one's mind all the time distracted and preoccupied. If I am not having that kind of need fulfilled, my mind would just start reminding me about everything I already spoke to you about. Currently, I am having a serious problem with insomnia. Can't sleep well enough. And without the help of uh, painkiller medicine, Panadol, uh, Adol, whatever, I can't sleep or even dream. If uh, I currently need, I am required right now to take these medicines to be able to sleep. Otherwise, my, my insomnia is never ending. So think about what will happen if I uh, run out of distractions with this mentality with me. Funny, uh, frankly enough, if I were to run out of distractions suddenly and can't find any replacements, I wouldn't mind at all converting all of my cash into one single currency, getting myself a weapon and then get all instantly. I'm a person that has lived long enough, seen what this cursed hill has to offer, regretted being born, and I am more than prepared to die. At any given moment, I am more than prepared. And if death doesn't arrive to me soon enough, with the enough speed, I wouldn't mind going for it myself. I've told it, either you arrive to me yourself, 
quick enough, hasty enough, or I will come to you on my own. You would uh, tell me that this is just wasting my life uh, over nothing, over just video games or over distractions. I would tell you, I'd rather my life wasted than waste others' time or lives them themselves. That's all I have to say, really. I, uh, too long, don't read. I play games as a distraction and as self-control. That's all, really. Sorry about uh, wasting from your time 20 minutes. Take care.